I don't have the right words to say right now. I have a lot of feelings, but I don't have a lot of words. One of my dearest friends and one of my employees passed away last week. And I don't know what to say. I miss her. I'm always going to miss her. And making a video about this feels so weird. But these last few months, I've made a video about everything in my life that's meaningful to me. And making these videos is, is something that's bringing me comfort right now. And Chelsea was the most joyful, beautiful, incredible human being. And if sharing a little bit of my grief helps share a little bit of her joy with the world, then that's what I'm going to do. Because she battled cancer for seven years and never lost faith. I never complained. I never stopped being joyful and enjoying every day of her life. So I've been looking at all the quiet moments in my life and trying to cherish them the way they deserve. Trying to remember every sunrise and every sunset and the way a fresh strawberry tastes and the look in my son's eyes when he smiles and the way that Seattle <laughs> is magical in the summertime. All of these things are things that I'm just clinging on to. So this is that video. On the list of videos I wanted to make was an interview with Chelsea about her four years working for Constellation & Co. About her role in the company that I've built and the comedy we built together. And I'll never get to make that video now. She's been sick and hasn't been able to come into work for a month or two. And that video is going to go unmade, so instead I'll make this one. And it's a poor substitute to seeing her smiling face and hearing her speak with love and affection about what she did for work and about how much she loved the cards that we make and the customers that she greeted every day. This is a poor substitute. But this is where I'm at right now. Okay, if I oh, absolutely. Document just whatever happens at the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, since I started making videos, now I want a video of everything, which is a weird experience, but has been really good for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I've been looking at my life so differently. Um, and so I've been like looking at, I started looking at Lord of the Rings quotes because I was like, that's right. So Chelsea. That is so perfect. Right. And I found a beautiful Tolkien quote that like, ugh. Is it the perfect Chelsea quote? <laughs> so anyways, I've just been like, I wanted to make all these little clips of all these moments. Celebrating her. Thinking about her. Because so many people are upset because so many people love her because how could you not love her right? and she loved everybody like i got to cry 
with my UPS man today because he loves her. Mm -hmm. Because of course he does, right? <laughs> It was so weird and wonderful. <laughs> and I've cried into tacos and a bag of powdered donuts. And every time I cry, it's a weird thing. I think Chelsea would think this is the funniest thing. And we would laugh about this. You would. You absolutely would. would. You really would. <laughs> it feels impossible. Like, so much of just like it just doesn't feel real like know. you know those those dreams when you're like just when you're falling asleep and all of a sudden you start falling and you yeah. jolt awake like I've, that's I've, what the last I, yeah. two days have felt yeah. like when I'm awake yeah I hate that feeling of waking up to a nightmare like that's what it feels yeah. like like it can't be real and I I think I'm certainly in denial at the moment because like, I've been weeping constantly this is today this afternoon, this evening, is the like longest I've gone between crying and I'm like afraid. I'm both afraid to start again and afraid that I won't be able to. Like yeah. that I'll, I'll I'll block this out and I won't be able to feel it because if I'm crying, I don't know. I complex feelings about crying right now, but. Like, it really did wait all day for her to come to the door. Like, for the sound of the bell and her, like, feet on the stairs. Like, all of her notes are still in her folder. And her cubby is filled with stuff that we've been, like, saving for when she gets back. Like, mm -hmm. she was always... Because she was going to come back. back. Yeah. She she always got through it. Yeah. Like... And we've been through this so many times where she's been so sick and we've been so worried. And then she comes back. And it's not okay. It's just not okay. It's not okay with me. <laughs> like, it's just not okay. Anyhow, Chelsea was there. She was brave. So it was brave. clear. It was like two seconds. You knew that was that was her ammo. Brave and joyful. Yeah. Like, it was a dumb thing to say, but I, I posted it on Instagram, but, like, the... There's an episode of Bones, like, forever. I love like, Bones. Yeah. So do you, there's... Gonna go wrong. There was an episode where it was, like, it involved, like, a voodoo priestess or something. <laughs> okay. And at yep. the end of the episode, like, it's clear, like, this lady is trying to cast a curse on Bones. <laughs> And and Bones looks her in the and the lady goes boo and Bones just looks at her and pokes her in the. Eye. I remember that. And it was like that's Chelsea. <laughs> like, yep. Like, and I do think no harm, take no shit. Exactly. Like, right. Right. <laughs> and I think there was even a line about there about like, what do you do in the face of evil? You poke it in the eye. Oh my right? God. Yes. Of course, that's exactly what you do. Cancer certainly did not make her brave. That woman has always been brave. Yeah. Oh. That was when I was going through infertility. Mm. And like, really, like, not that I'm not... Really, it feels weird to say that. It's like, I'm not over that. I'm not done with that. That's still happening. But, yeah. like, that was when I was like, coming to terms with it. And really, really hurting each month. And, you know pulling that wound back open but she always understood what I was going through mm -hmm. so perfectly even though she'd never been through it and yeah. we we just we spoke the same grief language in a way that like I didn't That's a like I can't you know <laughs> we just like it never experienced exactly the thing the other person was going through but when we talked about it it was echoed like he she understood and so many people have not understood and so it was just like such a precious gift to have someone in my corner that got it and never never judged me or never asked me to be anything but what I was in those moments was the other thing she always was that an invitation like she never she never forced you into her joy 
She always made it so clear that she wanted you there and, yeah. and that you could be there if you wanted to. And her joy was so real because it wasn't, it wasn't joy that excluded her suffering. It was joy that contained it. Mm -hmm. Joy that like made it really clear that it was safe to hurt. Mm -hmm. She kept everything going for mm -hmm. so long. And so many days when I wanted to go in there and just shut the doors and leave and like be done. Like she believed in me far beyond how I've ever believed in myself. Mm -hmm. um, but she also was the one who connected me with my therapist. And I had forgotten that because it's been three years. Like I'd totally forgotten that. And then the other night I was laying in bed and I was just like, oh my God. Like if that, that's the one thing that I would say has like changed everything for me these last few years mm. and she did it she loved me that much there's always space for everybody mm -hmm. everyone was included everyone was welcome even the worst customers she would find a way to be kind to them mm -hmm. and they would leave and she would say love you mean it <laughs> 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 there she is <laughs> poking trouble in the eye again. that's right the most beautiful things happen when people would come in and ask for help like there's always people coming in and being like, I just found out my friend has cancer and I don't know what card to get. I don't know what would be okay. And instead of just like hiding an anonymity and just being like, well, I think you should do this. Like she would open her heart to these people and be like, well, I've been fighting cancer for this many years and, and like, I really love this card and I think it's really meaningful for this reason because, you know, over time you get really tired of hearing this or that. And like, she just was always so... So generous with her story and herself. And that's how she, that's how the UPS man like was crying with me today because he knew her story. Because in the short period of time it took to deliver a package each week, she built a relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's magical to me. <laughs> it's what she does. No. Hell, I think she's in heaven doing the exact yeah. same thing. <laughs> do you need anything? Hey, how long you been here? Yeah. What's it like? What you do when you were on Earth? So what's good around here? Exactly. <laughs> you been to the ice cream cloud yet? Good. Right. Oh, I hope she's been eating lots of like just the most perfect cow full dairy yes. ice cream. Anything she wants. I'm a dairy free ice cream on ice cream. <laughs> nice. I miss you, Chelsea.